air outside because apparently the city decided that they're going to come here and use their their leaf blowers everywhere and annoy the hell out of me <coughs> when I'm already in a bad mood. Thanks, city. Although it does seem like they're moving a little bit away, so there's something. Um, annoying! Very annoying! Let's talk add-ons, shall we? Good morning! I'm having a morning already. Frustration morning. Um, so we've got some sort of work going on outside. I want to talk to you about add-ons. There is some add-on discussion to be had. So let's do that. Okay. So obviously, oh, they fixed it. That's the one I wanted. Oh, I hope that works now. Uh, my status is the one that was that I figured out was broken. That was locking up my UI. So here's here's the way that things stand, I think, right now. Advanced filters, which I find to be absolutely cr crucial. Let me show you what advanced filters does. So like, look at my inventory, for example. I hope I have it on. Uh, let's say I want to see, or actually, let me look at my bank. That's even better. I want to see all of the armor I have in here. And then I decide, okay, but I only want to see uh, all of the waist pieces I have. And I only want to see heavy, medium, light. Let me just change that. So, oh, look, I have two invigorating light pieces. I don't need two pieces. I can just get rid of this one. I only need the one for research. So this one can be crunched up. That's what advanced filters does. In a lot of cases, that's part of what you want to, um, if that's what you want to use. Auto banker, I use on my alts. It literally just stuffs things into the bank when your character interacts with the bank. There's been updates to Awesome Guild Store. Um, the whole bunch of libraries have been updated. And, um, craft store has been updated I know a lot of you use that and I'm expecting an update to display leads soon before the new info uh, most other things I mean EHT has been updating a lot everything else should be pretty much actually let me remove this because that doesn't work I don't like leaving things in that don't work. Uh, they now say that co libcommon inventory files is obsolete. I'm afraid to delete it though. So for right now, I'm leaving that in, but it seems that everything else seems to be, hello. I mean, it's, it's something right now. Just for those of you who don't live in the US and you're mildly curious, we don't know. Honestly, we don't know. We have no idea. We know that the Senate didn't go well for Democrats. Uh, and that's crushing. But uh, we don't know who's president yet. And we won't know for at very least till tonight probably not even then because Pennsylvania hasn't even started counting mail-in votes. Um, Wisconsin hadn't until 5 a.m. this morning started counting no votes for mail-in votes. They were handling the ones that were just uh, in person. I mean, you got to give them credit for the fact that, you know, this is new for them and you know there is a pandemic and more people have voted this year than it seems like everybody has since 1900 so it's been an amazing turnout and they're not even done counting yet so it could be more than that 
Um, so we'll see. You know, we'll see. We don't know. We don't have an answer to that. Don't have a crawl. Oh, wait, what's this? A copy of Bill, but I want to try to copy Bill. Whoa, that's new. Um, that's a good question. Uh, at the moment, it's, here's the thing. Nobody's winning right now. And the reason why I say that is because of the electoral college. It depends on who gets what state. It doesn't even matter about who gets the most amount of votes. It depends who gets what states. Um, because this old archaic elitist white male bullshit system that goes back to the founding. So we don't really have an answer as to who is going to win at all because the, the numbers are misleading at this point. No, it's not a true democracy and we really want to get rid of it. We really want to get rid of that system. So here's the thing. Uh, We've got a lot of different ways to go. If, um, he could lose Pennsylvania, Georgia, and North Carolina and still have enough. And we have my sister is just being a butt. Uh, and if he wins Arizona, Nevada, Michigan, and Wisconsin, he's going to win. It's, it, there's like 10 million different paths to winning. Actually, what was it? Um, 538 has paths to winning for, hold on. Hold on, hold on. All right, 538. Give me a moment. Here we go. 538. Uh, hold on. God, it's so annoying they're doing this stuff outside. He may win my state. It's entirely possible. I don't know. There's something like, when I was looking at it yesterday, there were still a thousand different ways that, that, that uh, he could win, that Biden could win, and then like, I don't know. There's a lot of different options. So it's it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Anyway, so we, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. And I have a lot of uh, stabbing for the outside noise. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, Xanax left, so that's just the way that I'm going to handle it until such time that this is all over with. Because Xanax is good, y'all. Good morning. Potato is open. I am trying to just get some sales up before we get started. I haven't done anything this morning. I got up late. I'm a bad, bad potato. I'm a bad potato. A terrible potato. All right. Okay. Go eats. You go noms. La la la. I hope the noise outside isn't too distracting. I there's really nothing I can do about it. All right. Kill me now. I don't want to do a grand sitchik. But let's do them in order. All right. We've got. 
I can't do caffeinated. She doesn't want me to look at her houses anymore. So I'm really not just trying to ignore somebody. Oh, let's start with view dying. Make sure we do some of those. Oh wait, we can't because she doesn't have it working. All right, let me. Ah! Oh, Don. I got all the brains missing. All right, hot, hot. Mm -hmm. housing's finest. Okay, here we go. These things. Well, my brain is non-functional at the moment. Do you guys hear this? I am so sorry for the noise outside. Eventually, it'll stop. Thank you for putting it up, putting up with it. The Lupian. All right, so we're going to go to Seleuthian's entry, which is uh, erstwhile. So we'll start with a big one. A big one. I suspect it'll be scary, but who knows? Oh, thank you for saying that, Evil Bob. That makes all the difference. That makes a lot of difference. I appreciate it. What? What? Sorry, I'm getting all sorts of crazy, crazy stuff coming. Da -da. Da -da. What do you want? You want to update? Fine, install now. I don't give a shit. Go, go. Stop beeping at me. All right, I'll read you the story for this one. This is from Seleuthian of Housing's Finest Builders. Welcome to the headquarters of the Eastern Faction of the Dark Brotherhood. Although they are lesser known, they are no less deadly. Stab, stab, stab. They gonna eat you. Whoa. Very different. Have you ever seen an entrance to Erstwhile like this? Cause Lord knows I haven't. They've completely... I... I'm confused. Like, they blocked off this entire rest of the hall. Unless there's a sneaky sneaky. That's wild. Alright. Very strange. Very, very strange. I can't even get a good sense of what the... Yeah, I'm having trouble, like, figuring it out. And then that was a weird turn in there. I'm not sure why that was there. Unless... I don't know. Alright, so we've got some... We've got some Dark brotherhood -y things going on over here. That makes sense. No effects. Some very dark brother, very brotherhood y feel stuff. That's interesting. Never seen anybody do that before with skulls and all. That's one hell of a fountain. Um, I guess the dark lighting works better. I've seen some people build up. There has to be a sneaky sneaky. There's no way because. How can you have 700 out of 700 items without a sneaky sneaky, right? There's gotta be. What? Oh, let me through, let me through. Yay, I found the sneaky sneaky. I was gonna say that, oh, stables. I want to go outside and stab all of the people. It's not their fault, but I really do want to stab them all. All right. I 
That's actually quite a well lit Sithis. Isn't it? We got a little fishing area over here. I hope this was intended you know that I wasn't that I didn't just break through a wall that wasn't intended but it looked like a sneaky sneaky for real it looked like like a legit hole I was supposed to find also I have to take you back to something yesterday that I didn't finish looking at that was absolutely insane once I closed the stream and I'm not talking about Wednesdays because I still haven't figured that one out um, although we will go back to that eventually hello Delisha So this should be the trophy room, which does not disappoint. Hello, ma'am, Harari treasure. One person's treasure. Maybe it's a shop because they've got the scales here. Oh no, they're just measuring out their, how much they've gotten. That makes sense. Oh, I, we should talk about contests real quick. La 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 PCEU, a Theorious Time Machine, November 29th. I know of no others. Uh, if any of you have, oh, you get, you get a switchy switchy. Okay. I'm still going with the Halloween look. And we went through here, right? Oh, we didn't. Oh, this is quite elegant in here. This is my favorite room so far. You know, I should know DDAs because I think that they were posted somewhere. Uh, and I just didn't. Oh, here we go. Here's the November ones for, for, for that. I'm a derp. This is for uh, DDA's upcoming contest for the following month. And let me update my ongoing contest thing real quick. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. I don't know why I'm rolling my R's today, but I am. All right. DDA. Yes, I'm so sorry. It's it's actually not construction. It's the city is being annoying and doing stuff with blowers and leaf collectors and all sorts of crap out front. I'm sorry. No, it's my end. They're going to stop eventually. They're just doing this part of my street. Totally, totally corrupt. I've been stressing about it all morning. This is very elegant, this section. I'm sorry, if it gets to be too loud, I'll do something about it. Like, I don't know, blow them up or something. Yeah, the trucks are being weenies, I'm so sorry. We can punch them. No, 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 let's go punch them. Whoa, Max, no. Whoa, no, 25. Jeebs. Okay.
Oh, this is really nice. Okay. We're just getting better as it gets towards the back. Like, the beginning was was not nearly as, as good, uh, I mean, different as this. It was good. It was a, it was a traditional, that's the word I should put it, but this is so different. I like the, it's strange, but even, even Dark Brotherhood looks better with, with some of the solitude pieces, doesn't it? I'd rather be in here than in a normal traditional, what is that? Oh, is that a, oh, that's target practice. Look at that. That's fantastic. Excellent job. Excellent job. If there was some way you could just port to this back piece, my goodness. Oh, it is awesome. I'm glad they focused on like one specific spot. Because this looks really, 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 really interesting and good. Look at the way the seats are here. Isn't that wild? You've got the food behind you. It's a really interesting way of, of setting it up. I knew there was gotta be a bathroom behind these dividers here. Excellent. I really, really like this. This is really good. Nice job. All right, let's go to an unrelated small house. Unrelated. If we can't find one, I'll go back to that. Um, one from yesterday. All right, so let me show you this. Ick, squeeze me. We started to look this at the very end of yesterday's stream. And then I ended it, but it's so good. And I sent them a message saying how good it was. Now, keep in mind, this is Kragen Home. Kragen Home. And I will tell you what it is once we get in there, because it wasn't immediately obvious to me. So first of all, this is Kragen Home. Can you believe it? It looks better with the door closed, but. Is this not fantastic? So, what is it? I wonder if anyone can guess, because I couldn't. What would you guess that this room is? Because I didn't get it at first. Eventually I did. I don't know if any of you get, will get it. I'm curious. If not, I'll tell you. But I want to give you a chance to guess. Doesn't it, though? All right, nobody's guessing yet, so I will tell you. They made a p puppet show. It's a puppet show. Yeah, MDM got it. It's a puppet show. Isn't that wild? I am so pleased by this. The puppet show. And then you go back here and you see all the other ones they made. Like these are all different screens that you could switch out. Isn't that crazy? And there's where the puppeteer sits. 
Oh, this was genius. Genius, I tell you. So pleasing. Okay, next. <laughs> You're punching, Junie. I'll punch ya, Judy. Uh, okay. We're gonna do... Lady Vase. No, we did that one. Lushora? Did we do Lushora's antiquarian? I know, it's so clever. All right, Mushora's Morthal Thieves Done. Um, this cave was taken over by the Thieves Guild long ago. They used it as a way station when ferrying goods throughout Skyrim. And so that's that. Okay, so we've got more all thieves done. So this is antiquarian, completely caveified. Very interesting. Is that a sneak? Well, there has to be a sneaky sneaky somewhere. I suck at them, but there has to be one, right? There we go. Okay, we're in the house. Yeah, don't forget to enter potato. That, that just sounds really wrong. So, okay, so now we're in here and this makes, this looks like what I would expect a, a thieves den to look like on the inside, you know, a getaway house. And of course, the lady, we don't know who she is standing in the middle because she is the thieves den in Hughes Bay and that's her location. Now, I'm saying things that are wrong this morning, so please don't take me seriously because it's like like uh, when I was saying, I start to say words and it's not what I mean, so I'm going back and correcting myself, so that's, that's what you should listen to. Sorry, I'm trying to squish the turtle because the turtle fucking won again last night, so let's just not even... Hello, Harry. Deep red racist Kentucky. All right, moving on. We've got a nice kitchen here. Hey, they put corn in the cubbies. Who are you? <gasps> Lushora! Lushora themselves. Hold on. Okay. 
that's a really cool outfit. I don't know what what outfit that is, but it looks good. This is all planning. All right, so, okay, we went through this way. I don't think there's a sneaky sneaky here, so let's go back. Oh, nice. Redoing the whole thing in stone makes it look way more legit for a Thieves Done. I'm sorry I'm being distracted. There's all sorts of drama going on in Spicy right now, and I have to turn off the channel even though I was leaving it open so that if Lushora started talking to me, I could answer. I don't think that you're supposed to be able to get up there, but that's kind of wild that they put all that detail into a section you can't get to. I do appreciate that. Looks good. It looks like th that that's it on the inside. Oh, hey, Lushora. I was just saying hi to you. <laughs> Good. You're in channel. Now I don't have to worry about leaving my channels on because, geez, there's all sorts of crazy going on in some of my channels. Wow, you. Oh, oh. Chef's kiss. Okay, let me tell you why I'm chef's kissing this. See here what they've done? All right, let me show you something. ESO wooden platform solitude. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, I want to show you something. Want to show you something? Hold on. I want to pro show you the genius here. Okay, see this? Look at the feats of this stupid looking platform. I don't know why they had to add these little feet stab things that come down. They look like ass. And I have no idea what to do with them in my own home because I want to use the platforms. But this is just like, oh, it's potato. Just exclamation point potato. And then... The bottom of the platform that looks like S. Look what Lushora did. They added a, a bar across the bottom. They added a plank. They gave a bottom. I know it seems like a simple thing that I'm making a big deal out of, but that's freaking genius. <laughs> Good job. Stealing it. Makes it look good instead of just these random posts sticking out. Totally need to go get myself some planks and do that to my own house. Good job. And then you've redone the entire outside to look this more wild kind of look. I suppose I'm allowed to hop out because you put this like jetty here. But... It looks, is that it? Is that the hook posty one? Could be. That even could be the red guard fence in there too. But the little leggy bits have always driven me nuts. Oh, they make me crazy. No, look. Yeah, those are the little leggy bits. Wait, what did you do here? I'm now confused. Is the leggy bits on the top? And then that's a red guard fence? No, that's the rough plank. You did do what I thought you did. Okay, I don't know why I'm backing off and getting confused because right now that's what I said you did. That's what it looks like you did. Okay. I jumped out the window. <laughs> Was that wrong? Was I not supposed to jump out the window? I'm sorry. I thought it was... <laughs> I thought 
that I was supposed to. It's beautiful. You might want to raise it a little bit if you don't want people getting out. You, you wouldn't block off all that much. But looks fantastic. Definitely. Really liked it. So thank you for inviting me. Us. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I thought it was... If you think that Jay Hart isn't going to hop over that thing, you're, you're sadly mistaken because he's totally going to jump over that. <laughs> right? Totally. Um, the next one we're going to do is Prime Billy Horns Cold Harbor Estate. So marry a court, a mage's guild forum, a place for sorcerers to engage in discussion, debate, and even judge the criminally inclined. Yeah. That's antiquarian. We sure I completely redid it. It's fantastic. Especially in the beginning. Can you believe this is antiquarian? I saw that shutterbug. I haven't had a chance to look into it, though. I was going to test it uh, when I get off stream. Be yoddy. Away we go. But I will test it. All right. Yeah, I do like it with it being different. Sorry about that, Lucer. I really didn't know. The jetty. I saw the jetty there, and I thought that we were meant to go on the jetty. Oh, wow. Look at that architecture. That's a... That's one of those, the first impressions that are like mind blowing because these ginormous columns are just many columns put together to put, to make a huge one. The, uh, I've got, they've got a lot of little pieces of, of wall to, or fence to close in around the multi, Arches upside down. Yeah. They weren't afraid to take big steps. Like, they weren't afraid to do bold moves with this stuff. They also probably spent a friggin' ton of uh item slots on on those on the little fence bits that had you you can make an arch with these little fence bits but it takes a lot of them to do it with a proper curve this was hard work and i think that they did a really good job on making them arched no facts not sure what that is that must just be a bit of crystal Oh uh, no, it's the telescope buried down. Wow, that looks good. Look at the way that the doorway lines up with the with the gate. That's pretty wild. There is a lot going on in here. Yeah, it is a cool build. So this is a place for, for mages to gather and talk. I like that triple, that triple arch there. Looking good. You may see a bunch of other people come running through because right now we're supposed to be judging these. I'm sure that's a doorway. I'll try it in a bit.
nice combinations of items. I su it could be, but it seemed to be a, it said it was a mages, a mages spot. So maybe it's for mages to learn or practice or duel to, to, to test their skills. I don't know. Libraries, very, very mage stuff. Oh, wow. Look at all the things this person's achieved. All right, let's go through here. Uh-oh, you're in jail. Ha-ha. <laughs> mock, 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 mock. And it's seats for people to watch what's going on. And then, you know, it may be a guild because it does have those uh, Munda stones. Interesting. They just hung a an item so far out there that it looks like it's part of the stone. That's cool. They did it here too. That actually looks pretty freaking amazing. I've never seen anybody do that. Very nice. Good job. Very unique and interesting. All right. Um, next one. Maroniad's Velothi Reverie? Unless we've been there. I'm not sure if we've been there. No, we have not been there. Narcissus Mage's Guild. And that one's for the contest as well. And this one is... Welcome to the Mages Guild Narcissus Branch. For all of Tamriel's mages, welcome home, Sarah. <clears throat> Wait, why did that go like that? No. Okay. Sorry, I'm having issues with my computer. All right, 383 out of 400. Well, you know, it's Narcissus. So I can't imagine a better decor than mushrooms, right? Right in the midst of Deshaun, right outside of Mornhold, practically. Students and books. Floaty books. This is like a lab table almost for practicing with crystals. And this looks like some sort of provided magical location for you to do certain things. <gasps> That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen anyone put the ghost chicken in there. And it looks really good because it provides its own light, which solves a lot of problems. <laughs> because those things are hard to see into without a light in them. But those pets are glowy to begin with, so that's a good idea. I know I haven't gone over any of the Mark Hearth stuff yet. I still haven't gotten to it because um, 
as I said, I've been playing Morrowind and I just started the like last bit. So I'm sort of just powering through that and then I'll get back to doing Mark Hearth and whatnot. More mushrooms. This looks very Mar uh, Dashani, but that's different and I like it. That triple layer one. And then this is another, it looks like a lab table, but this one's for potion making. Providing resources for all the local uh, mages to use. And then you can bunk it and stay overnight if you need to. And here's where you probably grab some noms. But you can only eat apples. That's all you get. Bring your own food otherwise. Maps, books. This seems more like a mysticism room. Mysticism practice room or something like it. Or a study room. Oh wow, you really built out. All right. And then over here is additional space. These books are gonna get ruined though, unless you have some sort of magic that stops the water from hitting them. Oh, switch filters, you got it. Boom. Oh, somebody's summoning. Very peaceful spot here. Nicely done. Totally different than the others, you know? Uh, each one seems to have its own personality. All right. S Sylvan sweep. Exercised. Let's see if we've done it yet. We have not. Okay, this is the Mages Guild recently established a new outpost in Glenumbra. Watch out for escaped experiments and dubious portals. There's a whole lot of uh, mage expansions out here. Excuse me, FCP. Oh, wow. Lots of Nimbai. That's interesting. Look at that. It's a triple tree, sort of. They did the gold, purpley blue, and pink mixed. And on both sides, very deliberately. I'm kind of curious about the mixing is unusual and I, I'm curious about it. And there we've got a tower. Obviously the Nimbus and another tower. Jeez. All right, let's start to the left, shall we? Go clockwise. It's like I'm a little afraid to go in here because of the Nimbus being poison or something. So another classroom and they're studying the Nidic orbs. Interesting. Then we have this tower. Gaming. This is where the kitty litter goes. Excuse me, itchy nose. Do we continue up? How do you get to that one? 
that a different walkway? I think that's a different walkway. All right, in the solitude gate, we've got crystal studies. This is a very, how many Nimbuses did they use? That's a lot of Nimbus. Oh goodness, look at this floor. That's interesting. This works, putting this sucker here. Okay, and this is how we get to up on the tower, okay. And this, of course, is the windmill. to get chopped up by the windmill. Phaedra's up here studying stuff. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to fall off like that, but. So next we have the greenhouse. They fit a lot in here. This is, in, this is the uh, exercise. And this is botany, I suppose. Really full. And then they incorporated the back wall with it too. Does not look bad to incorporate that wall. And then I think there's one last hole. Oh, I mean opening is this one. Oh, pathing. What have you been up to? That's cute. That's adorable. The slime is a problem, child. Very nice fountain. And the griffin's like, get away from me, please. This place just keeps going. It's kind of shocking to me how far. Oh, okay, this was really well done with this um, balcony. That looks beautiful. Is this also a balcony? Yes, this is also a balcony. Smart balconies with lovely views. Everybody likes the little slime in the crystal room. Uh, I don't know what that means. Beautiful. Very nice. I think I've caught it all now. That There was a lot in there. An awful lot of, of stuff to look at. That's It was packed. Jam packed. All right. All right, that's it for the, um, well, you're gonna have a few more tomorrow, but I'm not going to redo houses today. So we're gonna do one of each kind sort of thing. So let's see what else is open. We've got, Grand Sigic, Sorcerer's Sanctuary, Damon Damien. Hello, come on, what? Come on, what? What are you saying? Hold on.
Wisconsin just went to Biden by 20,000 points, 20,000 votes. Georgia is supposed to be done by the end of today. Just keeping you updated. 20,000 votes is slim. You know he's going to ask for a recount. Look at that. Boy, that makes me feel better about voting, right? Because <laughs> I'm in Wisconsin. So I'm, I may be one of those 20,000. Who the hell knows, right? Lots of creative ideas in here. Yeah, the, but I'm, I agree with you. But uh, Georgia's Secretary of State vowed to get all of the votes counted today. I don't know how what magic they're going to do. But by the end of the day, Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Dunson thinks they're going to have an unofficial result in Michigan. So that will leave that will leave um, Pennsylvania, but they may be able to call it without Pennsylvania? We'll see. <clears throat> Pennsylvania is going to take the longest. Wow, this is crazy. So, so far, all I'm telling you is we still don't know. We still don't know and we may know by tonight. That's all I'm really updating to you, except for the fact that, that Biden took Wisconsin. I wasn't supposed to be down there. Mr. Potato, did you hear that? He did not. Sometimes he can hear me. All right, I'm guessing everything is inside. I agree. I agree with you. Uh, I think that that's unrealistic to think that they're, they're going to be done because didn't, uh, didn't the post office lose like a bunch of your votes? Yeah, 300,000 of them. Why do they have rugs in their hands? What, what's going on in here? Allow me to go scream at my husband. I'll be right back. And I get to use the restroom. Husband, did you hear me?
I'm back. I did read though that the, those absentee ballots were not harmed. I don't think it was a conspiracy to kill old people and take away their retirement. I just think it shows just how little so many people in this country are concerned about the health and welfare of the elderly because they'd, they'd rather have an open economy than uh, protect the older people who are, who are dying in a quarter of million of them already in preventable deaths. If they cared, people would be wearing masks. But freedom, freedom. Is this a jumpy jump? I'm wondering if this is part of a parkour house. Because it seems like there's almost parkour up there. Yeah. Well. Oh, very, very, very decorated room. Holy crow. Super colorful. Busy. I do, and I always avoid it. <laughs> Goodness, look at all the stuff in here. Oh, that's that vampire uh, stained glass. I mean, unless you're going with red, that's not going to really work. So many things. All of the things. All right, what's next? Dark Nebulas, Mornoth, Vampire Hideaway. There's... All right, so this is a vamp house. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see some of it in here. Very red. It would be a good idea to use some of them in here. So I'm assuming the vampires do their crafting down here. There must be a feast room somewhere. Or maybe they don't need one. Maybe they just suck it right out of the neck and don't feast. I guess if this is, oh, well, here's, here's the kitchen, essentially, the noms. There you go. She's trying to break out. Good luck on that. <clears throat> Evil Spock's Worship Kalamal Grand Total. I have feelings. 
Thanks for the follow, Angela. Whoa, I'm blind. You know what, people? <laughs> well, that's a warship for you. Hello, Agnum Hall. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming this is the anchor. Oh, it's too bad you can't go in. Thanks, D. Krenna. Every single follow means so much. If you are a um, PCNA or PCEU player, do exclamation point potato in chat. Enter for a 50,000 gold giveaway. I do one every single day, and you don't have to be here to win. Wow. That's something. I do so like to see uh, ships, airships, spaceships, all kinds of ships. It's fun to see them. Jared should do that contest again, you know. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Palimpsest would kick all of our asses, but that looks really neat. All right, next. Sorry, dancing. It always makes me happy when you people give me more follows. Follow, 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 follow. Ravenhurst, from Pa, the girl next door. Man, they must have made so much money out of all the Nimbi that we all bought. I bought them too. Good morning. Nice to see you all. I'm in a good mood because, uh, of Wisconsin. We'll see how it goes if my mood crashes horrifically. It may. It may. All right. Okay. I need to come up with a word that describes something that's Elegantly, okay, that's what I'm gonna say from now on. Cause like, I can't help but, but struggle with this every time. It's an elegant and thoughtful design, right? People putting the thought into stacking plates. People putting the thought into, you know, every little placement of books, just slightly on an edge, right? Yes, it does. It looks a little like a garland. It does. Uh, I would add a light right here, maybe a candle on the table. If you can come up with some way to do that. Otherwise that looks great. Stuff in the cubbies, pleasing. Oh, look at the woo woo. I'm sorry, but when it comes to animals, I'm a little bit of a baby talker. I apologize for that. Uh, I want to show you my pic the picture I took of Sherry this morning. She a little pain in the ass, but she a cutie. This is my baby. That's my Sherry. Isn't she cute? Just want to boop her nose, don't you? Mm. Boop nose. She my cutie. She's calming down a lot. She was impossible the first couple of weeks we had her here. But she has really started to calm down, which is nice. She's less bitey. 
Uh, mostly Helmerian, but it's still growing back hair. So, mostly? We'll see. Ooh, nice red throughout. Nice little touches of red spaced beautifully. Uh-oh, what are you up to? Uh, check this out. Something naughty. You got the Dark Brotherhood book. You've got the Light of Woe. Got some naughtiness going on here. And then you've got Daedric books. Somebody is not as innocent as they seem. I do like me some mystery. Oof. That's kind of crazy. Well done, too. Look at the tools hidden back there. Like, almost, almost just out of view. Yeah. This is a very clever little sneaky sneaky. Oh, good lord, this is nothing sneaky sneaky about this. This is the courtyard. <laughs> Oh, guys, sorry. If you don't like spiders, I won't look up again, but that even gave me a little bit of a twinge. Nothing subtle here. Ooh, ooh. Do you like your corpses extra crunchy? Squish. Squish! <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Oh, this is very spooky. I like this. This is really well done. Good job, Frompa. Unexpected, too. Oh, look at that. That's pretty nice. I, I'll try to look down a little bit. It's all really cool. <laughs> Nicely done. Thumbs up from me. All right. Yes. Oh, we looked at a Sweezwees already today. Irish Sabres Gornier. I, I, Gorniers can be exhausting unless they're different. We will see. Okay. Goranier. 500 out of 11 out of 600. If I remember, Irish Saber is pretty, pretty talented. It's hard for me to remember, though. So, I have two lore readings that are coming up that are going to be interesting. One of them is literally a play, and what I might do is switch filters um, every time I play a different person so that I look like I'm a different person and maybe fake the voice or something. Uh, like, for instance, like, I was thinking about doing this. Like, when I'm a Nord, I'm going to be like, change it to this, right? And play my play a Nord. Right? And then go back to you know, something else for a woman. Like Oh, I'm so innocent. Da, 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 da. You know? Like just for each character maybe having a different look. That's one way I'm doing thinking of doing the play. The other one is extremely 
uh, rated perhaps X, perhaps more than R. And I'm not really sure how to handle that, except to say maybe... And here there is sex, right? And just leave it at that. So I'm thinking about that. I'm not sure. Hard to say what to do. Oh, somebody's got some tree house over there for sure. Interesting. So these are pretty bare, but I have a feeling that's because they probably have a tree house. I mean, it's legit beyond porn it's essentially be be like bestiality with with very graphic details and humiliation so i'm not sure if that's something i want to read to people hello mr irish oh we have a sneaky sneaky Halloween, great time for sneaky sneakies, I tells ya. Do you know what the Reachmen remind me of? With their masks and everything, they totally remind me of, you know how on The Walking Dead, or the, was it The Walking Dead? How they have those people who wear masks of, yes, there is. Uh, it's the bio, unauthorized, unauthorized bio of um, Baron Zaya, volume one, maybe two. Um, there's also extreme torture and murder in detail, but. Iron Chen, thank you so much for the sub, much appreciated. This must be a new item. I've never seen this before. This must be a new antiquity. Yeah, the the real Baron Zaya. I don't know how to get up there. Oh, over there. Volume one or two. I forget which it is. So you got to... Uh, it, it's It's twisted. Beautiful. Where's the window? Oh, there it is. Is there more to this house that I'm not seeing? Oh. I think there's another sneaky sneaky. Yeah, I can. Are you on NA? Which is, is it the name Iron Chen? Or did you have a different name? Old Man G. Ah! I had put a heart here because that means that I was going to go back to it. So we'll go back to it now. <laughs> I favorited it because I wanted a note to myself that I needed to go back. So no problem. We'll go there now. Just you just sped up my return. <laughs> Just turn off that heart so that I know that I have it. I have, in fact, returned now. Okay. I just am getting these pop-ups, so. All right. 
We've got 585 items and out of 600. Oh man. <laughs> Is it indoors or outside bed bathroom? <laughs> okay. I do not believe I tore this one on stream. I think I went to this and peeped and decided I needed to go back because it had an, it had detail in it I wanted to look at. This might have been it that I saw that I was like, oh yeah, I got to come back. Um, I really like the borders. And then you've got the like banker storage stuff. I was trying to figure out what the story was. I have EHT. Did you, can you mail me your effects? If you come here, uh, you need to just, I think what happens is when people publish their homes to, let me show you what I'm, I think people are doing wrong. When people published, instead of, they're clicking open house now instead of share effects. If you do share effects, it will ask you um, right after that. So you need to do, I gotta talk to Hardy because that is not sensible. He needs to do, do you wanna share effects as a question mark as after you hit host now? He, I think it's really a mistake that he's made there. So I'm going to try to talk to him about that. It's a shame. But yeah, that's that's a problem. I'll show you. See, if you do share effects, it goes publish to community. And then do you want this to be an open house? Confirm. Confirm. Do you want to reload now? I don't, but that means the next time I reload that that will be open. While you're coming here, I'll see if I can. Then why is it that people aren't doing that? No, no, that's the way I did it. When you publish to the community in the effects menu. But I'm talking about if you want to set up an... I'm talking about the problem people are making is they're hitting host now. And then it doesn't share the effects. <laughs> oh, Cardi, you kill me. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell people because I think it's a mistake that he made by accident. Um,
Well, now y'all know. So, yeah, it's a very confusing situation. situation. Um, what you need to do now, Iron Chun, is go to Essential Effects, and then you do Share. Right now, you could just do Slash Zone or whatever, and then you do uh, Share with Chat, and it shall share it to, to Zone for me. And you hit Confirm, and it'll share it all with me right now. That way I don't have to reload UI. You don't have to reload UI. I don't have to sit there and look at it. All right. Ah, there we go. It's coming through. It's coming through. How many effects do you have? If you have 15, we're good. Wow, this place looks way more lively now. Oh, very nicely done. I see what you did here, and it's clever. All right. So what Iron, ten, Iron has done here, which I really like, is they took the kelp picture, which is ultra-realistic, and they put the um, Aetherius in front of it, which makes it look like the water is kind of moving. Some people do this and then add fishies. But without it, it works just as fine because this is a full, a ultra realistic, whereas the fishies aren't as realistic. So I think that's clever. Multiple maps on the walls. Makes sense. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely much more lively looking. And then we've got the, the those are actual torch butts. And then look at this nicely cobbled uh, sectional and I've never seen anyone use that as a table so that's clever usage that upside down blue feathered bowl oh wowzers oh gorgeous I let me see if I can get a really good screeny of it that's something else. First of all, oh my God, did you buy a lot of these in Crown Store? I think these are Crown only, aren't they? They look random. Goodness. And secondly, this is beautiful. You did a beautiful, beautiful job. A nice, nice fireplace, too. That's your centerpiece. That's your punchline right there. I always say that about houses. Oh, I like the wood and the... Oh, the railing looks really good like that. Huh. I never thought to use it like that. See, I'm always learning things from people. I believe it. I absolutely believe it. And people think that EHT is easy, easier than regular building. And I'm like, sometimes, and sometimes not. Mm. 
<laughs> nice angling. Very nice. Yeah, the railing up on the second floor was, yeah. And this looks like the bathroom. And they closed off the pooper. <laughs> And then we have a nice bedroom. A second bedroom for not a couple. Did I miss anything up here? I don't think I did. Yeah, that, that railing up there is EHT. Let me put it to you this way, Corinda. I've seen Christ say I use 2,000. So you got a ways to go. You're fine. And then we've got a little cozy area for sitting. Doesn't look like we have anything up there, which is fine. Oh, crafting room. Nice forge. Well, and you're cooking a bear head for whatever reason. Why not, right? The fire's on. Might as well use it. <laughs> Looking good. I see what you meant about the plumber not showing up yet. Oh, that's okay. It looks good. Very good. And here we have a stable. Getting the skin off. Don't they usually boil them for that? Maybe they burn them. I don't know. Boil and burn them. Stick them in a stew. Well. Give me a moment. I'm Emily in Paris right now. Hold on. No, that, no problem. Thank you for inviting me. All right, let me show you Eleanor Crest real quick. We'll do. We'll deal with an effect in there. Okay, so here we are in my museum. And all right, so the way that you do it is once you've put the effect down, let's pick a simple effect. Like I have pets in here somewhere. Yeah, all right, we have the guar. We have uh, honor the guar over here, right? See him? That's an effect. So all you do is you select them and then it lets you edit. So you just either go size, you wanna make him huge. He's enormous. Maybe you want him to be blue. 
maybe you want him to be yellow. You can make him rotate differently. You can make him higher or lower. That's how you edit them. Simple as that. You just go into it and then you can do it that way. And here's my fizzy tank. Oh, my house. Thank you. So that should give you an idea of how to edit. You are most welcome. That's why I'm here. I am here to entertain and teach as best I can. All right, Hall of the Lunar and a Lunar Champion. We have not done one of those today. We'll do Larissa's. Yeah, sometimes you have to select it from the list, but the paint bucket's probably the easiest way. all these things open says me oh, yeah I will okay the other way to do it is if by chance you can't find the paint bucket when you're in the effects you see this is what it normally looks like you just change to the tab placed and then you see the list of all the ones that you actually have in your house and you can select one it'll pop it up and let you uh, edit it And then all sorts of things like that. Well, yeah, but your your sectionals aren't effectses. You're there. It's a cobble for for. Speaking of effects, um, we have Larissa has done 681 items and 10 effects. One of which is uh, they've added hedges. And then over here, they have stars twinkling. And they have, you have to be in the right position to make it not look bugged out. That's a dipper. I think that's a dipper. Uh, and then they have the night sky one up there. I think this is a spoopy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about a lot of things with EHD. I just try to figure it out as I go along. Honestly. But I have more experience usually. And that's why people ask me. But I'm not sure about anything. Um, this is really interesting. You see what they did here? They've got... Sorry, my, what's going on is I have, um, the newest MM is going back and reading all of the old information over again because, uh, it's, it's catching, there was an update this morning, so it's, it's like redoing it, but after it's done, it shouldn't do it anymore. Uh. Look at all the way they combined multiple ones of these curtains, the flat panel maroons, until they made a solid curtain. Now, check that out. That is also an effect. Does that arch even look like an effect? It doesn't. That arch looks legit. Uh... But it does, it is indeed an effect, and I think that's really cool. Lots to talk about. And then we've got the kitchen. No, I would not want that guy making me noms. 
nice little kitchen uh, seating here, cobble, with tables as the backs. Oh, he's the bartender. No, I still wouldn't drink anything you gave me. And then all sorts of creepiness going on in here. What? Where is Sister Galena that I can click on her? Oh, she's behind. I see her now. Then we built up for a dining hall. Like I often say, I really do like it when people add layers to rooms. This garden looks gorgeous. Not only is it <clears throat> interestingly placed in between on a wall. Hey, Tex Ernie. Uh, it also has those coda flowers, which make it all look very green. Because the coda flowers have, fl have light coming from them. They're enchanted. <clears throat> and I think this... Nope, they added a second floor. I was going to say, I think this is it. I don't like her. This spinning paper is also an effect. It's like my favorite effect. Looks totally real to me. She is scary ugly. And then there's a stairway up to storage. Crystal cargo box. Nicely placed ginkgo leaves. Thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Every follow means the world. I'm trying so hard to uh, make stream team. So let me see if they didn't close off the other sections. Okay. I would be very surprised if they filled out the rest of these because that was a lot of items. Look at me being wrong. It happens, folks. It happens quite a bit. So we've got an entire... Hey, Funky! How's it been? How you doing? It's been forever. And then we've got a, re a really nice temple, actually. It's like a study temple, though. With the floor down. This is crazy. How you been doing? Or did you quit ESO? Nicely done with all the ivy. The ivy looks really good. I'm still in shock they were able to do something this complicated. This bathroom is beautiful. Look at that shower. Oh, nice. Really good job, Larissa. Mm, beautiful. And the toilet. Toilet says me. It did! Yay! Yay, indeed. If they did manage to decorate all three, I'm going to be in shock. I, no, they closed this one off. All right, good. Because, I, I mean, I just don't, I can't imagine how they could have done all three. Um, nope, this one's closed off too. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense because otherwise I was going to be like, what? How the hell did you do that? In real life stuff sucks. Just saying. All right. We went to that one. 
And then now let me find the ones that I've marked off that we need to go to. I can't remember if I went to Rosewood online. Give me a moment. to that. I don't know why I still had it marked off. All right, I'm going to head over to you because I've been I've been neglecting my ewers. I will be right. Wait, no, I'll wait until I get to character selection. Sorry, I got distracted by election. Be right back while that's loading. So, as it stands, 47 to 47 equal Republicans to Democrats in uh, the Senate. 
as it stands right now. So they have six races remaining. That's where I'm mostly concerned, to be honest with you, because uh, if we get the presidency, which is looking possible, um, no one really knows. Jesus. Well, Wisconsin pretty much went, Wisconsin went Biden. There was only 300 votes left to count 13 minutes ago, and Biden's at 20,000 up. So Biden got Wisconsin. Biden expanded his need, need lead to 30,000 votes over with a new batch in from Detroit. So it looks like he's getting Michigan too. I don't know. That's New York Times reporting. I also checked 538. So, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at multiple. Uh, looks like we're, uh, the, we do have the house. I don't think there's any question that we're getting the House, like we already had. But the Senate is equal right now. We're 47 to 47. So, probably not. We won't have the majority, but we may have 50-50. Which would suck because the vice president... Oh, no, it wouldn't. It'd suck. It would be awesome because the president, vice president is the... It's the tiebreaker. And if we get the presidency, then our uh, Kamala, Kamala would be the uh, tiebreaker. There you go. So we'll see. Sorry, it's, it's hard not to be thinking about this stuff right now. All right. Eleanor Crest, Abracadam's Lodge. It's hard to turn it off mentally when the last four years have been such hell. I'm sure you guys understand in other countries uh, what it's like, right? Yeah, we definitely retain control in the house. Just read it. Oh yeah, they didn't even start until way late. Believe me, uh, believe me when I say we're all worried. My, my entire, everybody I know that isn't a piece of shit, and there's very few people I know that are pieces of shit, is just sick to their stomachs over this election. It's, it's awful. It's awful. We wanted a blowout. We wanted a blowout so bad. We wanted these people to get told, this is unacceptable. You cannot be racist. You cannot be sexist. You cannot be anti-homosexual. You can't be this tra anti-trans. You can't be these horrible people and succeed. But unfortunately, apparently you can. So we'll see. Maybe I don't belong in this country anymore. 286 out of 600. We are not even half full. I have a feeling this isn't done, so we'll move on. I'll come back if they want me to. Let's try their fall crease and see if that's full. It really it depends on who you ask, but... I mean, if you're asking Oklahoma or Kentucky, they're like, yay, Trump, right? I know, Miss Peak, but I don't want to go somewhere colder. I want to go somewhere warmer. So if there's a warm colony of Canada somewhere off in the distance, I've thought about it, Jemima, but going colder would be harder for me. Uh, again, we're not half full, but we'll just take a peek. 
It just looks like a scary house. We'll come back if, if they fill it up. He, he, then they have no souls, honestly. If you put your money ahead of other people's life or death and basic civil rights, then you're not a good person. Celia Marie. Um, <clears throat> I wrote those people off a long time ago. We're all, I, I tell you guys, it's been four years of just hell every day waking up hearing the news it's unavoidable the lies the horrible the the insanity it's just out of control all right this one's full enough although it may not be done i'm not really sure what's going on with the paintings being on weird angles okay we've got a oh okay we're fine it's just, it's just, it, people are so backwards. It's frightening in so much of the country. I would, my husband and I pretty much could move anywhere. But here's the problem. His mom is 80 now. And I'm supposed, I'm going to tell him that he has to leave his mom who's 80. Right? I just can't, I can't bear to do that to him but I do want to go with yeah well they you know you have to give them a credit in in one regard Corundum. they think we're being lied to you I would love to uh, but she's got a grandson in Oregon and I don't think she would go out of the country for that <clears throat> um, here's the thing they're being lied to. They are being flat on lied to. Uh, they have political leaders who are lying to them. And then they have uh, Fox News, which is lying to them, which is coordinated, of course. And they believe it. And in a way, you can't really blame them because they, they have their, their regular news station lying to them. Flat out lying to them. Oh, COVID is no big deal. And on top of that, you've got you've got them hearing from their own political leaders complete and utter lies. So then they're told that the truth tellers New York Times, CNN, whatever, are lying. So you can't even prove them wrong. So when you try to show them Snopes, if you try to show them PolitiFact, even neutral sites, oh, those are lies. Because they're told to believe that they're lies. So it's like impossible to convince these people because you can't refer to any source that they would believe. Well, it's because it's because they hate weakness and Trump is giving it to the libs and they see liberals as weak. Any kind of empathy, any kind of uh, nerdiness, any kind of uh, Sorry, that's my first of the month Wednesday uh, tornado warning that they run that every morning uh, to test, not every morning, every Wednesday first of the month to make sure that we we can all hear tornado warnings. We do get them. Um, so just ignore that noise if you hear it. All right, I wasn't going to do this because I feel like it's a little bit on the rude side but I'm gonna read this to you real quick okay this person posted this and it's the truth 
You guys don't get it. I live in Trump County, country in the Ozarks in southern Missouri, one of the last places where the KKK still has a relatively strong established presence. They don't give a shit what he does. He's just something to rally around and hate liberals. That's it. Period. He absolutely realizes that and plays it up. They love it. He knows they love it. And the fact that people act like it's anything other than that just proves that liberals are idiots. All the more reason for high fives all around. If you keep getting caught up in why they do not understand blah, 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 and how can they still back him after blah, 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 you are not understanding what is the underlying motivating factor of his support. It's fuck liberals. That's it. Have you noticed he can do pretty much anything imaginable and they'll explain some way that it rationalizes it that makes zero logical sense? Because they're not even keeping track of any logical narrative. It's irrelevant. Fuck liberals is the only relevant thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. That's why they all just laugh at it all because you all don't even realize that they really truly don't give a fuck about whatever the conversation is about. It's just a side mission story that really doesn't matter anyways. That's all just trivial details. The economy, healthcare, whatever. Fuck liberals. Look at the thing with not wearing masks. I can tell you what that's about. It's about exposing fear. They're playing chicken with nature and whoever flinches just move down their internal pecking order one step closer to being a liberal. You gotta understand the one core value that they hold above all others is hatred for what they consider weakness because that's what they believe strength is, hatred for weakness. And I mean passionate, sadistic hatred. And I'm not exaggerating, believe me. Sadistic, passionate hatred, and that's what proves they're strong, their passionate hatred for weakness. Sometimes they lump in vulnerability, a compromised circumstance, or an overwhelming circumstance in with their weakness too. Because people tend to start humbling themselves when they're in those circumstances, and that's an obvious sign of weakness. Kindness equals weakness. Honesty equals weakness. Compromise equals weakness. They consider their very existence to be superior in every way to anyone who doesn't hate weakness as much as they do. They consider, real, consider liberals to be weak people that are inferior, almost a different species. And the fact that liberals are so weak is why they have to unite in large numbers, which they find disgusting. But it's that disgust that is a true expression of their natural superiority. Go ahead and try to have a logical, rational conversation with him, though. Just keep in mind what I said here and think about it. That is so much truth. In four years, I have never heard that truth described so perfectly. It is dead fucking on. Can you imagine that this country is voting against their interests in large part just to fuck the libs. And they really are. <laughs> they either have say fuck the libs or they're racists or they're, uh, they're so anti-abortion that they vote only on that issue. Doesn't it make sense? I posted it in, our, in potato patch in case you want to show it to your friends. It is so much fucking truth. It, it's, it made me feel better because it, nothing else made sense. It was like, I don't get it. I don't get it. This doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. What, how can they not, how, I mean, I have the recording of him saying, grab him by the pussy. How do they not admit that this guy is scum? Because it doesn't matter because it's making you the liberal mad. That's all they care about. It's amazing to me when after I read that, how much clicked and how much better I felt because right, 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 right. And that's why I'm saying this is the third type. Anti-abortion is one of the con single issue voter anti-abortion. I actually understand those people. I don't agree with them, but they make fucking sense to me. You know, if that's your big issue, I kind of get it. Uh, I'm of course pro-choice, but but uh, I understand those people. The racists, of course, they're gonna vote for him. They love what he's doing. And then the final bit is the uh, are the people we just talked about now, who are the ones I like to refer to as the trolls. 
And that's the vast majority of them are trolls. And that's sick. That means that a huge portion of our country is a bunch of fucking trolls. That's our culture. Gun loving trolls. You know what, Jemima, you are living over a meth lab. And I don't blame you if you want to get out, because I know I do. They're horrible, horrible people. And that's why so many people I know have written off people that are Trumpers, because if you are a Trumper, then it means, to, you know, that either you're a dick or you only care about, I know, I know, I know, corundum. It's just, it, 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 here's the thing, like, I just don't, if you're the kind of person who voted for Trump because you, you care about your 401k, there's something fucking wrong with you. Because if you think that your 401k is more important than people having equal rights, people not being put in cages, people not being literally killed, people not being denied <sighs> asylum out of places that are cutting off their heads, if, I mean, there's all sorts of horrible things. Women don't have, don't get treated equally. Latino people don't get treated equally. I mean, if you are that person who cares more about your 401k than other people, fuck you, right? Fuck you and fuck your 401k. I want my money to go to, and I had one. You know, I have an IRA. You know what? And I want people to have insurance. I want people to have health care. I will fucking pay for that with my taxes. Here's, take my money. Give somebody health care. Give somebody health care. Take care of people. That's who we should be. Oh, I love you too. But, like, honestly, I wrote so many people off. Family too. Because they just said, in response to what are all of my points... I'm like, you know what? This guy said, grab me by the pussy. He said, grab a woman by the pussy. How can you fucking support this guy? It's on videotape. Here's him making fun of a, of a, of a, cha of a physically challenged person. How can you support this? And their answer was, how's your 401k doing? And I'm like, you know what? You're out. You're out of my life. Fuck you. Here's your consequence. I'm gone. And I have written off relatives. And you know what? I don't look back. And people are like, how can you not, how can you cut, uh, cut people off because of politics? And I'm like, that ain't politics, okay? That's not politics. That's basic fucking morality. That is human reality. That is basic. If you cannot see that other people matter than more, their lives, their basic life, their health care. People should not be fucking dying because they can't get insulin. If you are that kind of person that you care more about your 401k getting a little bit more money versus somebody getting insulin, fuck you. Get out of my life. You're not a good person. And maybe I thought you were, but I was wrong. You know, and that's my passionate, ugh, my passionate belief. My, pa my husband doesn't even want to listen to me. Yes, and it was. It was going great, but they don't believe that. They think our country is going to hell, and a lot of them think it because he was black. Let's be honest. Oh, my soapbox. I have held it in for so long, guys, because I don't want to turn this into anything, but I can't hold back anymore because my hatred for this aspect of my country makes me sick on a fucking basic level every day for the last four years i have fought 
so hard with money. I did the recount in Wisconsin. I have tried to convince friends. I worked at a, with a journalist trying to, to, to get this information out. I've done so much. I've written letters to people. I've done all the phone calls. I fucking volunteered as a free attorney to work with Lawrence Tribe to help overturn some of the shit that's going on. I've done everything that I fucking can. And God damn it, if, if this goes the wrong way, <sighs> he is a terrible person. And everyone who is backing him up for, for those reasons is a terrible person. If you're, if you're, I, I, I don't say that about people who, who truly believe that abortion is murder because while I think they're wrong, they have a moral reason. Not what I agree with, but I understand that they're saying this light, these lives matter, okay? That's at least decent. But anybody else, your reasoning is bullshit. Yeah, well, sure, okay. I'll just go convince everybody to become gay. That would solve everything, wouldn't it? Oh, God. You know, I would side with you about this, but it isn't even about religion anymore because so many evangelicals actually hate him. Oh, it is gonna be ugly, for sure. E truly evangelicals really fucking hate him. I've had super religious friends, amongst which uh, super Christian, Saucy Jack, who hate him, who do not believe that what he's done is Christian, who cannot stand that anybody supports it. So it's not even just religion. It's just some people's, because here's the truth. Abortion has always decreased under democratic presidents. Why? because we provide, democratic presidents provide more birth control for free, they provide more education, and they provide more help to people who are in bad situations. And so abortion has always gone down under democratic presidents, and it's always gone up during Republican presidents. So if you really hate abortion, you'd vote for fucking Biden, but they don't see it that way. It's, it's insane. No, those are not Christians. The Jewish community out here have spoken. Oh yeah. Lots of true Christians are anti-Trump. I'm telling you, it's just, it's sincerely a lot. Um, and I'm sorry that I get so passionate, but if I wasn't screaming, I'd be crying. When he won, I was on two Xanax in 2016. And my husband was holding me and I was sobbing because I knew how bad it was going to be. And it has been. And people have died because of him. A quarter of a million people have died because he refused to tell them to wear masks. Even now, we don't have a federal law telling people to wear masks. Wisconsin has the worst spike in the country because our fucking Republican government won't tell them to wear masks. It's that simple. I hate them. I hate them so much. People are dying. Oh, makes me so mad. And then they call you a sheep. Oh God, that's horrible. New York was doing stuff like that in the, in the early days, but they turned it around. Now Wisconsin has it too. He is such a horrible person. He does not deserve the honor of that office. The injustice of him getting that honor is sick. He should not have gotten that honor.
sickening. And that makes me, as a lawyer, as somebody who cares about history, sick. But then again, if you look back, there have been some real asshole presidents, so I got over that part. He doesn't deserve it, no. But maybe he does, because if we're that horrible of people, maybe we do fucking deserve it, right? But no, he does not deserve it. It's not fair. I'm in Wisconsin. And we're, we are, I believe, number one. Because we're idiots. Whose Republican uh, legislature refuses to pass a law on it and litigated every single mask law till they got it knocked down. Ended up just getting rid of our mask laws because they said that it's uh, taking away their liberty to force them to wear masks. They haven't met in 170 something days because we have a governor who's a Democrat. And so the, the Republican legislature, state legislature refuses to meet to consider any laws. They're doing what McConnell's doing. It's just everything dies. Any any legislation is, is not considered. They have done nothing. They haven't done a COVID bailout. They haven't done anything. Nothing. Zero. Except litigate. To stop the governor from trying to save lives. I'm just running around in these houses. I'm not even going to comment on them because I'm so upset. But there, there you go. That's, it's so sick and so twisted. And anybody who's paid any attention to it knows it. The problem is there's a lot of people who just don't care. So yeah, I've been obsessed with watching the counts, but I can't believe I actually said all that stuff. I've been holding it back for a long time because even Griff was like, you probably shouldn't air your politics. They're pretty, I am as left as, as you can go without being, you know, let's get rid of capitalism all to, altogether. I don't think that, but I'm pretty freaking left. Um, and what happened in Florida, the reason why we, the Biden got beaten so bad in Florida is because a lot of the Cuban culture down there came from a socialist society that was e e kind of evil. <laughs> and so they associate socialism with evil, but that's not what it was it was you know they were dominated by the castros who were murderers and gen genocidal and all sorts of stuff but it's not because of the fact that they were socialist that that was the problem but you have to understand people coming from that community of course are going to be afraid of it and when ads are running in spanish telling people that you know Biden's a socialist, of course they're going to vote against him. So the Cuban vote really didn't go our way. In Florida, that was the big, that was the big surprise and the big ugly. I don't know. I don't know what to do. And there's nothing I can do. I was very fatalistic up until recently and now uh, I was just like no I just I can't endure another four years of, of this I barely endured this because here's the reality marching does nothing absolutely nothing because they don't care March your little asses off. Who cares?
They don't care about that. They don't care about letters. They throw them out. They don't care about phone calls. They make their staff answer them or they don't answer them at all. They certainly don't care about emails. Doesn't matter what you fucking do except vote. So for four years, we had nothing we could do that actually could have mattered. It's absolutely infuriating. And they're like, oh, we have to hit the streets. We have to march. Why? Who's going to care? <laughs> no one. They don't care. They don't care what you do. I don't know. Obviously, I've been... <sighs> Being an American... You know what? For you Euros, I want you to understand this is how every single person that I know in my life who is still in my life feels about this. We are, when you ask us, how can we stand it? How can we elect him? How can we do this? The thing is, is that you're talking to people who would sacrifice so much to make sure that this man did not get elected again. People who are so bothered and so upset that there is actually a depression and anxiety that has been basically named after him because of how much it's upsetting to people. We want him gone, but that's the problem. You're not talking to the people who are, who, who follow him. If you were, you'd be talking to trolls who'd be like, yeah, we love him. I, I don't know. But everybody sane is saying, we, we're barely holding on by our fingertips. And I hope you understand that for coming from an American, it's been hell. And I understand what, what Ula's going through. I understand that it's not just Ula too. The rest of you dealing with countries going back in, yeah, we used to say that Norway, well, Norway was the place to move away to. Oh, yeah. Um, but we got to stay away from Sweden, right? Sweden fucked up. Uh, I'm thinking about New Zealand. New Zealand has, has some good laws and some decent things going on, right? New Zealand might be good and they have good weather. So... That's a possibility, right? What do I know? Not much. I don't want to go to Denmark. I want to go somewhere warm. I want to plan my escape. Germany is not warm. Well, yeah, but are they going to be people who succeed at pushing those kinds of policies? The problem is, is that this is what's called minority rule. The minority of people have more power than the majority. And, and this is what they're doing. I lived in Los Angeles for 13 years. I would prefer more than moderate. I don't know what that person wrote to me. I haven't been paying attention. Anyway. I'm ranting and raving. I should probably go. My husband's gonna be like, 
You totally unloaded on them. Yep. I'm a terrible person. Sorry. Anyway. Alright, I'm gonna go. I will let you guys know in Discord as things change. Thanks for watching today. Good luck, everyone. And I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one.